What is going on, MS Gym Nation? How you guys doing? My name is Trevor Wicken, and I'm the founder and creator of the MS Gym. Uh, welcome, if you're new, this is the place to learn how to exercise with MS, and the place to learn how to restore your strength, your balance, your coordination, uh, your balance, your flexibility. I think I might have said balance twice. We focus so much on balance here, I said it twice, uh, and, uh, and learn some cool stuff. And hang out with me, that's how we roll here. So, we're in the middle of an arm line series, or we're, we're finishing up one, all right? So, at the beginning of the week, we talked about releasing. We did a full circuit to release hand and wrist and elbow. And then this week, we've been really working on how to balance out the shoulder and the arm line stuff. So, typically on Friday, uh, we do a full circuit Friday, but I've been sick all week, and I can't, I really can't speak for 40 minutes. <laughs> so, otherwise, I'll end up coughing. So, uh, we're, we're doing... Uh, this was planned anyway, but we're actually going to do the another series of shoulder exercises from a chair that adds on to this, and I will get a full circuit for, for done for you guys uh, at some point. So uh, we're ready to roll. So what we're going to be doing today is be working on chair exercises. Okay, so you can do these standing as well, um, but I wanted to show the chair or the chair part of it so that everybody can feel like they can do this. It doesn't just have to be a standing exercise. Okay. Because there's a lot of benefits to doing this seated because you can actually get um, your trunk leaned forward like this, which allows you to rock the shoulder blades or the scapula of the rotator cuff and the humerus. Now, yesterday we went over a lot of floor stuff. Some people can't get on the floor. So this is really good. These are really good exercises to do um, outside of those or in addition to those, whatever. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to be doing here, uh, you always want to learn the chair. I want you at the edge of your chair as much as you can get. I want your feet planted firmly on the floor. And then what I want, your positioning during a lot of these exercises are just going to be leaning a little bit forward. Okay? We're not all the way over this way, just a little bit forward here. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into a seated cobra. Now we did this on the floor, but we're going to do this um, up in the chair. So we're, our hands are going to be down right by our, our shins. So we're down like this. Our chin is going to be tucked. Our abs are in. What you're going to do is you're going to sit back, pull that chin in, and then you're going to move your arms back and reach down towards the floor. So you get a seated cobra mechanism, okay? All right, here we go. So we're down here. Abs are in, chin tucked. Okay, shoulder blades down. Sit up. Keep that chin in. Pull those arms back. One. Two, and you want to sit up as tall as you possibly can. Back down, abs are in. Sit up, push up through the top of your head. Reach down with your arms and squeeze those shoulder blades. Two, two, lean forward, abs in. Pull back, push up through the top of your head and reach down. Three, two, lean forward and pause. Pull back, reach down, push up towards the ceiling. Four, two, lean forward and pause. Come back, re push up towards the ceiling. Five, two, forward and pause. Abs are in. Sit back, hands are open. Six, two, so hands are open. Stretch them open, get those arm lines moving. Down, sit back, twist, open those hands. Eight, two, back down. Sit up, push up towards the ceiling. Nine, two, back down. And up, push up towards the ceiling, twist, and 10, two. <coughs> Excuse me, see, told you. Okay, now uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do, do kind of that same angle, uh, but we're gonna do what's called a lateral raise. Now you can do these one at a time, or you can do them both, okay? So your feet are gonna be set like this, you're gonna lean forward just slightly. Your hands are gonna be here. The blades of your hands are on your thighs. Shoulder blades are down. And then what you're gonna be doing is you're just gonna lift your arms out to the side, okay? All right, so the key is here is shoulder blades down. Abs in, shoulder blades down, because you don't wanna shrug and try and lift. If you can only get this far off your legs and keep your shoulder blades down, because then you start to shrug your shoulders, that is A-OK, -okay, all right? So we're locking right here, abs are in. We're gonna hold this position the whole time so you're not sitting up this time, okay? Ready? And we go up. So hands are open. You just lift up from your elbows. You keep your elbow bent. One, two, back down. Two, two, back down. Three, two, 
Back down. Good job, you guys. Chin tuck. Blades down. Four. Two. Back down. Five. Two. Back down. Six. Two. Back down. Seven. Two. Back down. Eight. Two. Back down. Bring it up. Nine. Two. Back down slow. Last one. And ten. Two. And back down. Good job. Shake those arms out. Woo. 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 Shake them out. Shake them out. Shake them out. All right. Now, what we're going to do this time is what's called a scaption. So our hands are going to be down here in a V. Okay. And we are going to go one arm at a time this time. So you're going to go up at like a 45 degree angle. You're not all the way out here. You're not all the way in front. So it's up at a 45 degree angle, back down, up at a 45 degree angle, back down. You are sitting up tall for this one, okay? Feet planted, abs in, shoulder blades down, hands out to the side, kind of the opposite of those empty can, empty bottle drills. So back up this way, shoulder blades need to stay down. The minute your shoulder starts to shrug, that's where you gotta stop. You gotta pull that shoulder blade down and think about tipping your shoulder blade down as you lift. Ready? And up, one, two, and you lead up with your thumbs and your hands stay nice and open. Two, two, and back down. So see how I'm at an angle here? Three, two, back down. Four, two, back down. Five, two, back down. Six, two, back down. Seven, two, Back down. Eight. Two. Back down. Nine. Two. Back down. Three more. Ten. Two. Eleven. Two. Last one. And twelve. Two. Good job. All right. And then the last one that we're going to be doing here is a, is one for reverse for uh re, reverse reverse delt re delt posterior deltoid and rhomboids, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so what you're gonna be doing here, you're gonna lean forward pretty far, okay? So if you can only do this with one arm, that's fine, okay? Um, if you can do it with two, that's cool too. I'll, we'll do one arm at a time, and if you can do two, then rock it out. So you're gonna create a bar like this across your, your legs. Abs are in, shoulder blades are locked, okay? What you're gonna do here is you're gonna have your hand this way, okay? And then you're just gonna row straight up, okay? And then come back down. So you're gonna row straight up. So your hand is not at 90, it's not at 180, it's kind of at 45 degrees. So you're kind of touching your leg with your thumb and then you're leading up with your elbow. You don't wanna go like this and it's not this way. You gotta pull the shoulder blade back first Okay, and then come up. So it's shoulder blade lock, pull the arm up, back down. Shoulder blade lock, pull the arm up. Imagine you have a dumbbell. If you want to keep your hand open, that's fine. If you want to go double hands, you're here. Shoulder blades up, pull up, back down. Shoulder blades up, pull up, back down, okay? So I'm gonna go six on each arm. For you guys that are doing doubles, you're doing 12 on, on uh, both arms, okay? All right, here we go, ready? One arm or two arm. Ready, so abs in, shoulder blades set. Now you're gonna, we're gonna pull the shoulder blade up first, and then one, two, back down, and then release the shoulder. Shoulder blade up, row, two, and back down. Shoulder blade lock, pull, three, and back down. Shoulder blade lock, pull, four. Shoulder blade lock, pull, Five. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Six. Other arm. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Seven. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Eight. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Nine. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Ten. Shoulder blade lock, pull. Eleven. Shoulder blade lock, pull, and 12. So if you were doing this double arm, it looked like this, shoulder blade, shoulder blade lock, pull, 
back down. Shoulder blade lock, pull, and back down. Okay? So when we get to resistance training here coming up this, this late spring and summer, um, late spring, early summer, we're going to be doing that with, with some weights, we're doing that with some bands and all that. But I want you to start practice, practicing this stuff now. Because if you can't generate scapular and neuromuscular control in your shoulder and your humerus, I ain't going to give you a weight. That's just a bad idea. If you already have a faulty pattern and then they throw a resistance band on it or a, or a, or a weight on it, um, and you can't control your own core and your own body weight, you're just going to make that pattern worse and you could make your MS worse, okay? So that's why we're doing this stuff and we're kind of building in some more strength issues. All right? So when you do these exercises, they're really good because you get shoulder extension and retraction and spinal extension, right? Then you're getting middle deltoid and you're getting a lot of good scapular action. Then you're doing this scaption move, which is great for scapular stability and rotator cuff strength. And then you're doing the straight up strength uh, row, which really works on strengthening your rhomboids uh, and your posterior deltoid, which is typically very weak, and a little bit of your lat as well as you come up. But this posterior deltoid is very weak, um, and that leads to other shoulder problems too. So these four exercises combined with the floor exercises from yesterday are awesome time. So if you can do those in a bed or on the floor and then you do the rotator cuff stuff, then, uh, <coughs> excuse me, see my, my cold circle back around. Not fun. So anyway, so if you do those, four, those eight exercises combined, that's a fantastic program for you. Once you've released the arm line, you got the rotator cuff going and all that. I will put this full circuit back together for you. I just literally can't talk for like 45 minutes without coffee. So I will figure out how to get that done for you. I'll dope myself up on a bunch of date quill and make it happen. So anyway, I wanted to get to these. So this was in the plan. So you're all good. Uh, if you guys want to practice over the weekend, uh, go ahead and do Monday or do, do Tuesday through Friday. Go through all those videos, learn them so that when the full circuit comes out, uh, then you're going to be able to bust it out. All right. So if you like this video, like it, heart me, comment me, have a fantastic Friday and weekend, and I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.